everyone, I hope you're all well, long time no see. Um, and you may notice something about me, you're probably like, Han, is that you? Are you feeling okay, hon? Um, but no, I'm basically completely makeup free. This is the natural, raw me, take me as you want me. My future husband is gonna have to accept me this way, so I thought why not, bear all as scary as it is, um, and show you how I do my hair and makeup. So, how I go from my au naturel to a, well, I don't know, like a little a little Bristol babe, shall we say. Um, and I thought if Kylie Jenner's done her Vogue makeup tutorial, Rihanna's done hers, then there's no better time. So, if you wanted to see how I go from this to this, then keep watching. And about whether or not to do my hair like how I do my hair if I want to like look a bit more swanky um, as a separate video but I thought realistically if I'm getting ready day if I'm getting ready day to day um, I will normally put some heated rollers in my hair and then as I get ready um, as I do my makeup it then means that when I come to to finish my makeup I can just literally take the rollers out set them with some hairspray and then it's good to go so what I've done this morning, and this is pretty much, I won't always do my hair in rollers, but um, if I've washed my hair, I use the Pantene shampoo that I shared in my favourites the other day. I'll blow dry it pretty quickly. Um, before I blow dry it, I put in some kind of oil just to protect it. I love the smell of this oil and it's really good, so I've been using the Aussie Three Miracle Oil. So I've been using that, and what I basically do, as I as I'm normally, sometimes I'll do this when I'm in the shower, if um, I'm blow drying my hair, I'll plug these in as my hair is blow drying so they're ready to go. But I've got these rollers, these are the Remington, Remington? That sounds American, Remington Pro Lux rollers. Um, they heat up pretty quickly, they're nice and hot now, good mixture of sizes, um, great for travel, I've flown with them. Um, awkwardly, because I'm a bit of a messy pup, um, the lid has broken, that was my fault the other day when I was unpacking my suitcase, but um, I really do love these. So, again, this may scare some people if you've never seen girls with rollers in, but I'm about to, to break these myths. So, what I'm going to do, because I've broken the lid, I'm going to take the lid off, and I'm going to brush my hair through, give it a good brush. I have got a fan on as well just because it's still hot in the UK and then what I do, um, I use, this is what I've got from Dita Von Tees, I use a setting lotion, so I got this from Amazon, it's the Lotta Body Setting Lotion um, and I mix it with some cold water, I've bought one of these um, conveniently pink shaker bottles from Amazon as well and all I do, because I like my hair to be slightly damp when I put the rollers in, is I just put in a load of this setting lotion and we're good to go. So, um, for me personally, the best way I found to um, do this is by brushing my hair backwards and then basically doing each roller as it goes up and back. So, all I do, and this is going to be a pretty ugly looking hairstyle right now, you can see me, my lovely forehead, is I brush it all back and I start with the top layer and work my way upwards and outwards so I'm gonna take my fringe so the front part of my hair I'm gonna I normally do this as two separate sections so I literally section it out like this um, I've already brushed it so it's fairly silky what I'm going to do just to give myself a bit of extra volume because we all like a bit of volume. <laughs> I look so attractive right now. Let's hope my future husband doesn't watch this. But I'm just going to lightly back home, take my roller. And what you'll find if you use a heated roller is that it gives your hair a nice shine as well. Um, I learned from the show anyway that even if I've curled my hair, setting it with a roller after, even if it's just a normal roller and it's not hot, gives me a nice shine and it gives me a nice body to my hair as well which I need because I've got such dark hair so that one is then going to be clipped in place I love these heated rollers as well because they already come with the rollers so then do my next piece lightly back comb like that get my next roller out you have got to go careful with these mine guys so I just normally slide them out cha cha slide like that And I'm just gonna 
flip it in place. Right, so what I'm now going to do is I'm going to start working my way back. Because the only thing I would say as a little out is what I tend to do um, before a night out or if I'm staying away from home is I'll wash my hair the night before because the only thing you can find, being honest, is that on freshly washed hair they don't grip as well so you have got to be careful with that. So I back home my next strand of hair, roller comes out, as you can see, I don't know if you can see, I'm working backwards. So that goes in. They are very hot now because they've been on for a bit of time. And then again, pull out a section of the hair. And again, I just want to point out a disclaimer that I'm not a hairdresser in any way. I wish I was, but sadly I'm not. Grab a roller. Slug it out. So now what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to speed this bit up. I'm going to do the rest of my hair. Um, as I do it, I'll probably do it so I can show you that I'm working along each side. So outwards and up. Um, and then once I get onto the smaller rollers, I'll come back with you. So just bear with, guys. Right, so I'm back now. Um, I haven't used all of the larger rollers, but I want to save this part of my hair for the smaller parts. So, these are the slightly smaller rollers. I'm just going to brush it through as well, just to make sure it's nice. And then I'm going to half it again, and then half it once more so they're in sections of four. Light bit of back comb in. Get my roller roll it round because I like the ends to have a nice bit of curl and then just clip it in again make sure those partings are nice and neat bit of back comb grab my roller I'm just going to do the rest. I wanted to say as well, um, whilst I'm quickly doing this, is this is quite a big thing for me to be on camera without my makeup on. I mean, if you said to me, like, you absolutely have to go out without makeup on, I would. Um, but... I, obviously I was bullied in the past and I used to get made fun of for my eyes being big and my skin so I am quite self-conscious but I'm hoping that you know what if I come on air with no makeup on I can help make some other girls feel a bit more confident about themselves a funny story um, a guy that I had a few dates with not that long ago um, I was poorly and I didn't have my makeup on and he turned to me and he said is the reason why you haven't got any makeup on because you're ill and I thought that was like quite like that's not good like every girl obviously has got insecurities without makeup on but I kind of knew then when he said that that he wasn't the hun for me let's be honest so do you know what girls this is who I am guy's got to be with you for you and your natural beauty so don't let him tell you otherwise <laughs> that's my motivational tip of the day right so my rollers are in Sorry to, I look a bit like Nora Batty right now. They're in, um, I'm gonna come back to you in a second, let them set whilst I'm doing my makeup, and I'm gonna go through with you my everyday makeup routine, so stay tuned. 
Hi, so I'm back. Um, excuse the slightly, slightly like scary sight right now. Me and my rollers in and no makeup on. I'm kind of trying to style it out with my pink robe and imagine that I'm a Victoria's Secret model, but let's do this. Now, I've got one little confession that I'm going to have to break to you guys. I have obviously, as, as you might notice, I wear glasses, so I need like all the help I can get when it comes to I so you're gonna have to bear with me when I do my makeup because one thing that I I literally can't live without when it comes to doing my makeup is a zoomed in mirror um so what I'm probably gonna do is I'm probably gonna hold it like this look into it so at least then you can see like what I'm doing if it was like this obviously we're gonna be screwed you're not gonna see a thing so bear with me guys so for anyone who ever wants to see me, like, bare face, no makeup on, here I am, like, take me or leave me. Um, and obviously now it is slightly scary because I'm blind as a bat, so just bear with me. First thing I'm going to do is a bit of skincare, because I'm a big believer in making sure that your skin is nice and fresh um, before you do your makeup. So I've got the Pixi Glow Tonic, and I'm just going to run it all over my face. It feels lush because of how hot this weather's going to be. What I'm also just going to do a second gonna move the fan a bit closer to me oh that's nice just rub it round because it's got glycolic acid in I quite like to rub it round my chin so that's gonna go over there um, I'm then gonna put on my SPF so I use the Cetaphil, 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 Cetaphil daily defense moisturizer SPF 50 I have got a bit of a tan at the moment I know you probably can't tell but because the weather's been sunny I've been out in the Sun with no makeup on the past few days um, so I, I thought this is a time for me to film this video whilst I've got a bit of colour um, and also my skin's pretty good at the moment as well. And then I'm going for a bit of extra moisture with the Cetaphil Moisturising Cream just because I like my skin to feel nice and soft and fresh and glowy um, and then obviously I'll put my makeup on over the top of that. So yeah, just rub this in, nothing too heavy. And then um, I'm going to go in with eye cream. It's so weird, by the way, not being able to see. So this is the Nip and Fab Needle Fix. I'm going to go in with my ring finger. Um, I'm probably going to do this without actually looking. I'm just going to dab rather than rub just to prevent any eye wrinkles underneath my eyes. Just on my eye bone. Occasionally I'll rub it down there because I'm aware because I've got um, dimples I think that I need to make sure that that stays nice and we don't want no wrinkles in your in your in your dimples do you <laughs> no wrinkles in your dimples so next thing is priming so, also just going to quickly put on some lip balms through the Elizabeth Arden eight hour cream occasionally I'll use this as well when I'm putting my eyeliner on just to moisten it up a bit because you know what I mean when you, your liner gets a bit dry girls we don't want that so yeah I'm just going to moisturize my lips this is a really nice lip balm great for no makeup days as well so that's gone on next thing is primer so I use the Nivea sensitive post shave balm don't use too much of it just warm it up slightly and again just rub it over my hands just because I hate my skin to feel like dry and like dry patches or when it's like I don't know I, I just sometimes I hate the feeling of makeup on my skin so I tend like the past few days I've not worn makeup at all which has been lush next thing I'm going to do um if you watch my favorites you'll know that I've been loving doing this at the moment um I'm going to use the I Heart Revolution Cucumber Makeup Fixing Spray just to set it all in and just cool my face down oh that felt lush right next thing I've got my little brush pouch and I'm going to do my brows to begin with if I can find my brush yeah got it and for my brows I'm going to use the, this is in my makeup bag um, routine, but basically what I've done since then is I've bought a little smaller makeup bag from Amazon, just because when I'm travelling I don't need that massive kit, so I've got everything in this little bag now. Um, I quite like having a man's wash bag for my makeup bag as well, is that a bit weird? Probably is. So I'm using the Freedom um, Brow Powder in Dark Brown. 
And I'm just gonna, what I basically do, I haven't tinted my eyebrows for a while. Base, and also, obviously, in case you didn't know, I dye my hair, so that's why my eyebrows are lighter. And I'm just gonna fill them in. I don't tend to, like, overly pluck my eyebrows, so I don't ever really need, I'm just making sure that you can see me. I don't like to, like, overly draw them, I just kind of like to do the natural shape. I don't do them black either, this is like a nice mixture of the two brown shades in this brow powder. I'm so glad I've got this mirror with me guys, if I was doing this blind as a bat I'd be struggling. So yeah, when it comes to the edge of my eyebrow, I just literally like feather. And obviously normally day to day this would take me a lot less time, but because I'm talking to you guys. I normally aim to do my full face of makeup within like 20 minutes, so I am pretty quick. So again, just fill out the natural shape. I just tend to do like light kind of feather motions. Just get everything, get more of the darker colour. I also kind of look back because I feel like with glasses you've got to get your eyebrows on point. Um, but again, I like them to kind of stay a fairly natural shape. I need to tint them really. I've been quite lazy when it comes to tinting. I'm just going to bring in my zoomed in side as well. This is when this like saves my life, girls. I'm just going to make sure. Build it in. Through. And I just normally like run my fingers through them as well just because I like them to look kind of natural and not, not overly drawn in. Next is foundation. So I normally, so I don't like get a mess everywhere, I just use, do you remember these silicone like foundation things that were popular I, I mean I used them for a bit but I found that it was kind of just literally like dabbing your makeup on like dab like dabbing like that um, and I prefer again to kind of make sure everything's buffed in and blended so my foundations I have got a bit of a tan at the moment so I am gonna have to mix a slightly darker shade so I use this little silicone blender essentially as like a little mixer so I'm gonna use um, my skin is really good at the moment so I probably don't need too much of this my infallible total cover in number nine light sand and I'm just going to use a teeny tiny bit of that not too much I'm going to mix in a little bit of my MAC face and body in C2 just because I like a really sheer fresh cover coverage at the moment and then to darken it up because I've got a bit of a tan I recently bought this from Amazon to try out it's the L'Oreal Studio Secrets Universal Colour Drops which is apparently meant to help match your foundation and darken it so I'm going to try and add quite a bit I think because my skin and my face has gone quite dark and I'm going to use my Real Techniques buffing brush mix it all together on my little so can you see I've got my little mixture that has gone quite a nice dark color actually eh? yes yes i'm liking that this may be a bit too dark but we'll find out let's see and i'm now just going to buff this into the skin apparently these drops are meant to like help your foundation match your face color so actually that looks pretty good to me because i have got a bit of a tan at the moment i'm just going to buff this in on my nose again not too much foundation I just kind of like to use a little bit on my forehead actually I think that has matched my skin tone quite well because I didn't want it to be too dark but then I still wanted to have a actually match my chest let's have a look yeah that's pretty good that'll do I'm just going to make sure that that's all buffed in I have to be really careful because of my glasses that everything's buffed in. And next, we're going to do my eyes. This is my everyday like eye makeup. Sometimes I won't even wear eye makeup um, day to day, especially if I like I've literally got out of bed and I'm just not in the mood. So I'm going to use my um, 
L'Oreal. I like. I love L'Oreal at the moment for their like foundations and their skin. Um, the 24 hour pomade in light is going to be my eye base. I think I'm going to be alright not to use the zoom. And I'm just going to pop that. This concealer is great for spots as well. I'm just going to pop that all over with my ring finger as an eye base. One, two, one. Then um, to set that, I'm going to use my Soph X palette. Now this is the one that isn't new, so I am going to pre-warn you it's a bit of a mess. But I'm just going to use probably this nudie shade, just to set everything in place with just a just a wide bristle brush, just to literally dust it all over the eye. I'm going to try and shut this no wonder why can you see now if i can't see when i when i'm like doing my makeup how the hell am i going to do palettes and put lids on properly hmm, there's one thing i am gonna have to get a highlighter palette in a little bit but i'll get that later Actually, right i'm back we had a mild camera panic there it is wobbling slightly but we'll get there in the end guys right so next step is eyeshadow so i've done my little setting I'm just trying to find, again, this is what I have to deal with with bad eyesight. I literally can't find any of the brushes that I need today. Not today. Not today, Salem. Right. So, I'm going to use my Soap Extra Spice palette and go in with the shade conveniently called Everyday and just put that all over the lid. It's a really nice shade. It looks really nice with the tan, actually, as well. Just gonna go on. I'm gonna use my zoomy inside now, just because, just because I'm blind as a bat and I really need <laughs> all the help I can get when it comes to makeup. Don't want unblended eyeshadow, do we, girls? Now, next, um, I'm gonna go in with a big fluffy brush. I'm gonna go in with the shade Running Late. Again, a great name. And I'm just gonna run that. What I tend to find what helps me when I'm trying to find my crease and I'm in a rush and with bad eyesight is I look back and then I just literally will run it through the crease. Unless I'm like going out, like going for food or going on a night out. If I'm going on a night out or if I'm going for food, I will put another colour in the crease just to darken it. But for every day with a red lip, I think this looks pretty nice. So again, I'm just gonna look back and do the other eye. I just find this is nice to like warm your eye up as well. So just make sure they're even and keep blending. It's pretty goof proof as well, given that I can't really like see that well unless I'm holding it like this. Obviously for the sake of the video I'm holding it at a bit of a distance, but I am gonna have to. I'm going to have to use the zoom, I think, just to make sure that everything's blended. I think I need a bit more on this side. Okay. Right, next, um, I'm going to do my liquid eyeliner. So I'm going to use a really fine brush. And again, considering that I can't see when I'm doing this, I think I'm pretty good. But what I'm going to do just to help make the product a bit smoother when I'm doing it. I've just put a bit of what was left from the Elizabeth Arden 8 cream and I'm just going to rub that into my brush. I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Gel Eyeliner. Again, I'm blind as a bat so I'm going to have to bring it as close to me as possible. I'm just going to get a good load. So what I tend to do with my liner is I would just do the eyelid first I'll start about three quarters in. I'm gonna have to try and trying to figure out a way I can show you this. Just gonna I am like literally struggling with my eyesight, side, I'm not gonna lie. So all I do is gonna be bring this is just follow it across. I basically decided for the next eye I'm not gonna talk whilst I do it. I'm gonna muck up. And then, when it comes to the wing, I go to where my um, inner bottom rim is, where the eye meets. I just draw 
a little dot so I know where my point is. Connect the dots. And just go up. And then to link the wing, um, I'm going to do it so it's like, go halfway. Just drag it across like that. It's a pretty bad wing today, guys. I'm not going to lie. It's very hard to do a wing liner on camera. But I will show you some of my little hacks later on how you can correct this. Quite a big wing today but that would do so i'm going to do the other eye and i'm not going to talk this time because i don't want to badger this other one Right, so my liner's done. I'm just going to pop that in my inner rim below as well. Now, one thing that I will say is that if you mix your gel liner with the Elizabeth Arden cream, what I tend to then do is, one, make my eyeliner last all day, especially with glasses on. I don't kind of want the gel liner to kind of press against my glasses. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go back to the original Sofax palette. I'm going to find, if I can find one, just like an eyebrow brush. And I'm literally going to use a black eyeshadow just to set. So if I can find a brush, my eyesight is really bad today. You know what, I'm just going to use an angled brush, another spare one. I'm just going to go into the black shadow just to stop the liner pressing into my glasses. And I'm just going to set it with the black eyeshadow. That also helps it stay all day. And it's quite good if you want to like correct any little cheeky mistakes that you can see. So yeah, that's set. Now I'm going to curl my lashes. This is going to be a lot longer than it normally takes because I am yipping too much. I'm just going to curl my lashes. Um, I don't tend to wear false eyelashes unless I'm going out. Um, natural beauty and all that. I don't know why half my brushes are in my makeup bag. Like they shouldn't be in there. I'm going to use my collection Lash Surge Mascara. It's my favourite. I normally get ultra black. I know you're not supposed to pump the tube, but I just did, so what? Uh, kill me. I'm just gonna. This is definitely when I need a zoomed in mirror, so I am gonna just apply this. The only thing with rollers is you have to kind of. As she's still doing mascara, is I have to just make sure that it's clipped up here. Otherwise, you're gonna be kind of battling with your rollers to. 
tend to do is just put a coat on now, let it dry, and then when I have finished my concealer and my blush, I then come back to my eyes. I correct in a second, I'll show you. I, I correct my wing liner. You can see I've just mudged my mascara wand on my thumb rather than the brush. I always do my bottom lashes as well. Just because I like to have them there when I've got the glasses. I'm just going to quickly do the other eye, but I'm basically going to touch up my con con use my concealer to touch up my wing liner, do the rest of my face, and then once the rest of my face is done, I'm then going to go back in with a bit more gel liner just to correct it, correct the wing, and go back in with some mascara. cheap this mascara so I should really start using it but yeah that's it done. I'm just going to wipe the mascara off my thumb next thing is concealer so I'm going to use my I've got the banana concealer from Makeup Revolution but I'm probably going to use just their standard one today if I can find it So I'm going to use the Revolution Concealer in C2 and I'm just going to pop it underneath my eye like so. I don't really contour too much but I am a big fan of brightening. Just on any blemishes, on my little laughter lines as I call them, down the centre of my nose and then to brighten up my under eye I'm going to use the L'Oreal La Touch Magique. Up. I don't know why but for some reason with my glasses on I really like to have like a bright under eye what I'm going to do whilst I'm doing this this is my little Hannah trick is I'm just going to neaten up that wing and then what obviously I'll do is when I finish my face like most of my face I'll then come back and just neaten up that line so if we're doing that can you see it looks just nice and nice and fresh and then I'm just going to go in with I think if I can find it I've got a little mini brush like this which is really good for getting underneath my eyes and I'm just going to blend all my concealer out I'm just going to look up sorry to scare you with the faces I'm pulling there you go can you see by me doing that concealer that it just makes a, a big difference and it just literally makes it pop so yeah I'm just gonna blend that out next thing is going to be I like to layer so I'm going to use a blush stick by Makeup Revolution dab a bit on my cheekbones I love these brushes that Makeup Revolution do because they're like bendy brushes which is really handy when you're like struggling with your eyesight like I do and they can just be moved in any direction so I'm just going to take this end and I'm just going to almost do a contour I don't really contour with bronzer the only time I contour my is on my nose but at the moment I don't really do it a lot but when I watch makeup videos I get inspired so I'll show you that little trick but I prefer to contour with a cream blush and then, just to give myself a bit more of a glow and a bronze, I'm going to use my Chanel Soleil Tanda Chanel Bronze Universal. I used it on me the, on the show, and even though it's quite expensive, I had to get it because I just loved how it made my skin look. And what I basically do with this, suck my cheeks in like a goldfish. You can hear the word of the way. I'm just going to contour on my forehead. I'll just make sure that's all blended in. It's on my neck. And just a bit on my nose. Just to give it a bit of a contour. Next up is powder. Hmm, 
I don't know where my powder is. I'm just, so for now, I normally use the um, Airspun by Cosy powder. But because I can't find my normal powder, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to use the Maybelline, which I normally use for touch-ups. The waterproof matte powder. I really want to get the Chanel powder foundation after seeing Kylie Jenner's makeup tutorials. You know, her Snapchat ones and her one for Vogue. Because it's got SPF 15 in. I'm all about SPF. So I need to get that. But I'm just going to make sure. The biggest thing I learned from being on camera is make sure your face is completely matte so powder 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 although i obviously like to moisturize and make sure that my skin is looking nice and dewy powder makes such a difference especially if you wear glasses i find that if you just bung a load of powder in between your nose and your eyes and then it stops them slipping so much so that's that done blush the contour further contour this looks like a lot of products guys but i promise it's not i'm just gonna go in with this slanty blush brush and go over instead of a bronzer use my blush to contour this is a really nice blush it's um milani bellissimo bronze it's my dupe for the nars luster blush and it's lasted so long I just use that just to kind of warm my face up. Um, for my cheek blush, I think I'm going to use the Balms Down Boy. Like, this is more like when I do my daily makeup, I just literally fling it on. So, apples on my cheeks. And then, what I'm going to quickly do, I am going to do a bit of nose contour. Which um, I basically watched Blair St. Clair from um, RuPaul's Drag Race do how she contours her nose because she's got a cute little nose. Cute little button nose like mine. Blair St. Clair, I do declare. Sorry, that was my impression of RuPaul. That was really bad. So I'm just going to take a tapered brush, tap off the excess, look down, and all I'm going to do is not all the way down my nose, just going to do there. There, down these little nostrils, I couldn't think what they were called then, and just across the button part of my nose just so it looks a bit more cuter. Next I'm just going to finish off my eye makeup, so I'm going to take the brush that I've used for my liner, just make sure it's looking nice and neat. Make sure that I get right in by the lashes as well. Um, for underneath my eyes, I'm going to go back into my Extra Spice palette. I'm looking for it then. Back into Running Late. Look up and just run that underneath the lash line. I like to put, especially if I'm going out, if I'm going out, I'll put a darker colour underneath my lash line because I find with glasses it just, that, that area stands out more when you do it. there a bit more mascara if I can find it there it is I'm just gonna go back in with a second coat And then just to make my brow bone and the inner corner of my eye pop a bit more, I'm going to use, if I can find it, my Makeup Revolution Saint Crushed Pearl Pigment, which is a good dupe of matte vanilla. I love to put this on my brow bone, especially because where I wear glasses, um, I just find that it stands out where I've got my like big glasses on. So I look up and just apply a bit to my brow bone.
and then just apply a little bit in the corner of my eye. It just makes it pop a bit more. Then for highlight, I was going to use my new Safe X highlighter palette because the other one's smashed. I think today I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Renaissance Illuminate and Radiant Rose because I do really like this one. I know it looks like every, it, it's just really easy and it looks really pretty. So I'm just going to go in with this brush, give it a good rub in, look to the side. Yes. Get that highlight. Right, I'm back now guys. Um, my highlight was that good that it actually broke my camera. So what I'm going to do, I've taken my rollers out, put my camera on charge for a bit, which was on full charge before I started filming. And I'm just going to make sure all of the curls are brushed out. Now I've taken the rollers out, flip it back, give it a quick part. And you can see that it just gives it like a nice bit of volume in the time that it's taken me to do my makeup. And I'm just gonna spritz it all through. I really don't want this camera to run out of battery, guys, because that will not be fun. The only other thing I'm gonna do is put my red lipstick on. So I'm gonna use Red Rum by Jeffree Star. I'm gonna switch you back round. So yeah, I'm just going to use my Jeffree Star Red Rum with my Rimmel Lip Liner. Just line my lips. I'm not as good as Kylie Jenner to do it with my eyes closed just yet. I do go slightly over and I line all of my lips. And I'm just going to go in with Red Run. And that's me done. And that's me done. So um, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Um, slightly stressful at the end as the camera ran out of battery, I'm not going to lie. Um, but I kind of wanted to show you like, the power of makeup. But you know, being natural is great, but you can also make yourself look glam. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next week. Bye guys.